So this morning we're going to make some cheese. We're going to make some fromage blanc. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it's uh, French for white cheese. It's a little bit like shove, um, just goat cheese. So that's raw milk, about two gallons, and uh, we've warmed it up to 86 degrees. And now I'm going to sprinkle in some... Uh, starter and rennet packets this is all in one that uh, i buy from new england cheese making company it's real handy it's real simple and easy i don't have to think too much don't have to do too much stuff we're gonna let that sit for a couple of minutes and then we're gonna stir it into the pot then we'll cover the milk um and uh let it sit all day and then we will drain it i think i got everything out of those packets yeah and then in a minute after we get the cheese set up we will go out to start doing chores so it's been a couple of minutes and we're just going to carefully stir from the bottom to the top and um, I'm going to go in different directions, you know, clockwise and counterclockwise. We just want to make sure that our starter gets stirred into all of the milk. And uh, then we're going to cover the pot with the lid and a towel to help keep it warm. And it's going to sit here in the kitchen all day to um oops, i don't know what that is maybe something out of the storm and uh then we'll drain it tonight and we'll have cheese good morning chickens Hello. little loose hooligans here good morning little goats how are you guys huh hi little goat how you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Get you some breakfast in just a minute. Digger dog. What are you doing, buddy? You're all wet. How come you didn't sleep in your house, huh? You sit out in the rain, you silly boy. Oh, no! Get down. I did not need money paws on my head this morning. Oh, silly boy. Oh. Up. Oh. oh, nothing like having muddy paw prints on your face early in the morning. Yes, I see you. What are you doing? We got to get the goatee some hay. Where are you going, digger dog? My weather folks say that it's only 33, but that is downhill and east of me. Um, as you can see here in my little canyon, we are probably 32 or 31. We have some frost on the dahlias and the berry bushes. Um, I did see a little skim of ice on some water that was sitting in a bucket, so winter is coming okay well that was a little excitement this morning i'm guessing the digger was trying to chase this little bantam that's hanging out here and uh startled gazelle and she jumped the fence and then he was chasing her because he still got impulsive puppy brain and makes poor dis life decisions and uh, so I had to tie him up and catch her and get her in here. So now we can get on with feeding. Yes, Bashful, I'm, you're next, baby. Yeah, you're next. And uh, there's Digger over there. 
course, he looks contrite now, but he knows he was bad. Yes, you were a bad dog chasing the goats. All right, so we're up here at Bashful's Pen this morning. You can see behind me, he just has a simple hoop house. It's made out of two cattle panels and it is held in place by some T posts. So um, his tarp has gotten some little tiny holes in it and it's dripping a little water. And of course with the open ends, um, he's getting a little rain. So I have a new tarp. I'm gonna take the old tarp, I'm gonna slide it over and as close to the ground as I can to help block the wind. And we're gonna put a new tarp on and bring it as close as we can to the other side, to the ground on the other side. And then um, as soon as I get a chance, we'll get some pallets or something to kind of block in the ends a little bit to give him some wind protection because winter is arriving and we will be getting some storms and some snow. Also, um, I've discovered with the cattle panel hoops that we do need some structure on the ends to help support that if we get a wet, heavy snow, because a really wet, heavy snow will collapse that curve and that's not fun let me tell you been there done that so here we go Okay, so we got this new tarp on. This doesn't look too bad. Um, you can see it's a little chilly this morning. Now the sun's coming over the mountain and starting to thaw things out. You can see the water dripping off of things. Um, I noticed Bashful had a little bit of, a little thin skim of ice in his bucket. So he's not thrilled with the camera and the tripod being in here in his pen. So we'll get this out of here and um, probably time to move Posey and Mocha up the hill to the hill pen. So I have to run out and get some feed and do a couple errands this morning. But uh, those are the Pinal Mountains that are south of my house. And they have their first snow. You can see some of the burn scar where they burnt up in the big fire of 2021. Um, my house is, let's see if I can get my finger there, there we go, way over there, not quite to those other mountains, so. So I've been to the feed store, been to the grocery store, uh, checked the mail, did some other errands, and now I've unloaded all that stuff at the house, and now I'm here at my friend's place where my back Bentley is. That's that big guy with the red collar. The little guy with the blue collar is a little mini Nubian buck. As far as we know, these boys are not related at all. But uh, Bentley's hanging out over here until I get things situated at my place to bring him to the house there. What are you doing, Bentley? You gonna turn around and talk to me? Come here. Bentley, what are you doing? Ah, he's too interested in his hay. So I just gave him a little snack there. Nothing like a warm snooze in the sun. Little goat don't eat this. Of course, I'd rather you didn't sleep in the hay tub, Bambi. So, I got, took hay to Bentley, and then I went and picked up some pallets back there. And then um, little goats were out of water, so I watered them. I watered 
um, Bambi and her gang and then Digger decided to chase the chicken so he had to go to timeout because he was bad so now we're going to unload these pallets and we're going to get some of them ripped down because I need some firewood I will say that if you do not own a sawzall a reciprocating saw you don't know what you're missing especially if you're a smaller person, maybe not quite as strong um, as as a great big guy. So my reciprocating saw is my best friend. Um, this is my little Ryobi battery powered one. This is my second one because I think I have uh, wore out about two electrics and now two battery operated ones. But what you do is you get a wood with nails blade, okay? And um, you can rip pallets apart and cut all kinds of stuff with no trouble. Um, I use my Sawzall all the time. With a pruning blade, I can cut down trees. I can cut branches and things up for firewood because I have a back and shoulder injury. I can't run a pull start anymore. So this is a lifesaver in a lot of ways. So let's... cut up a pallet with the sawzall. Some of those boards are pretty decent so we'll put them aside as building material because we need to do some goat shelter improvements and um, the trashier stuff we're going to cut up with our little skill saw for the fireplace for the wood stove. Um, you just got to be careful and watch for nails because those two by fours will have nails on each side. So you just got to check both sides, make sure you aren't going to hit a nail and ruin your blade. I spotted him. What are you doing in there? Huh? What are you doing? Digger? What are you into? Huh? What are you into? Oh, we're eating rotten eggs. That must have been where the little broody had her nest. And, uh, Digger's eating the leftovers. Yum. So we'll see how this goes. I want to get these four little weathers moved in with Bashful where we can maybe fix it up so they're a little drier and a little more out of the wind and the weather. Um, so they're going to go from the pen that's over there behind the camera to up there where that blue tarp is. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, come on. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Come on, go. Come on. No, you don't get to go see that girl. Bashful. Let me get this crybaby in there. Uh, oh, goodness. Uh, oh. Yeah. Hi, little goat. Hi, little goat. Uh, okay. See, that wasn't so horrible, was it? Was that just horrible? Uh, yeah, look, you got a bigger pen. Uh, Dad's here. Uh, How you doing, Dad? How you doing, Bashful? You're a good boy. Yes, you are. Uh, You're a good boy. Hi, Midnight. Uh, Hi, baby girl. Hi, goat. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hi, little goat. Uh, You're stuck in my pocket. <laughs> Little goat was our bottle baby. Yes. And you guys are paying. Okay. Oh, now you be nice, Joshua. Okay. Y'all got to get off the gate. I got to go get your hay. Y'all want some hay? Okay, get out of my way. Yep, you too. Get out of the way, dude. Oh. And we go to find the chain for your good. Uh, Ooh, boy, howdy. That was a workout. Uh, well, it looks like everybody's going to be all right in here together. Bashful wasn't sure what he was going to do in the beginning, but a little head tossing and threatening and things are chilling out now that I've dumped some hay I think we'll be okay in here 
since these boys are weathered, they're getting to where they, you know, they don't smell like bucks or anything anymore. So I think Bashful was confused in the beginning because usually I just put girls in here. But uh, I think we figured it out. Y'all have a good dinner. All right, you gotta feed some more goats. Y'all hear them? Probably just right on top of the hill, and it's probably only 3, 3.30 in the afternoon. That's the second time they've gone off today. It seems to start when the train whistle blows, and then a pack over across the highway, way over there someplace starts and then this pack that's up here on this hill gets going that's a good boy digger dog good boy good boy all right so that's the boys pen that's bashful And that's the girl's pen. And Gazelle is not thrilled that those little boys are next door. She's been bashing on the fence. Yeah, what's going on over there, huh? Gazelle, that's enough. Oh my God, look what you've done to the fence. Lordy. You've met those boys before. I mean, look at that. They're right in bashful space and he's being fairly nice. I mean, he's a little head button, but that's... That's all right. Gazelle! Jeez. I never thought that you would be the problem. I should have known better. Yeah, I should have known better. tired and sore and cold and ready for dinner and hot tea and a fire. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to make some fire. I did forget to get some um, newspaper today, but oh well. Um, well manage I'm sure I got a little cardboard here so putting the little boys in with bashful did not work out not because of bashful bashful was just fine he was you know there was a little head tossing and a little um I'm the boss and you're in my face but it wasn't like I'm going to kill you no, it was Gazelle. 
Gazelle was beating the snot out of the fence. I'll have to show it to you tomorrow because she just was a train wreck there. And so I'm just like, so after I milked um, Mocha and Posey, and then Mocha was crazy girl tonight. She jumped off the milk stand, wouldn't go in her pen, was running around, knocked the tripod down, ran up in the hill pen. I just left I just left her up there until I got done milking. And it was almost dark. And then and then she settled down and went in her pen with the other girls like she should. But uh so in between girl milking girls, I went and let the little boys out and just sort of herded them all back to where they had been. And uh, so we will have to do something about the fence and maybe, maybe I can get some more pallets and wire some pallets up on Gazelle's side of the fence so that she can't see them too easy. Or maybe it's a little harder to tear things up. I don't know. We'll just have to see. But right now, we're going to get a fire. I'm going to make Italian potato soup for dinner with lots of sausage and a few potatoes because <laughs> that's the way I like it and of course we're going to use our nice raw goat milk of course it won't be raw by the time we're done but that's okay um and then we're going to be turning in for the night because we have farmer's market tomorrow it reminds me I need to go in and see if I have any more new soap ready to go because um i got a couple of new fragrances that should be ready this month i just need to look and see if if they're ready for tomorrow or if it'll be a week or two so another day in my life talk to all for now <laughs>